It was already pitch black. I suddenly woke up and saw you were no longer by my side. I jumped up and desperately started looking for you everywhere. Coco? Coco! No response. While I was walking around our camp, thousands of thoughts started running through my head. Was it a wild beast again? Someone trying to kidnap you? How could it be I hadn't even noticed? What a lame excuse for a bodyguard. Coco! Shit, maybe shouting is worse. If anyone has her, they'll know I'm getting close. I then decided to search for you in silence, just in case. Luckily, that night was a full moon and skies were clear, so the woods weren't completely dark. Once my eyes grew accustomed to the dark, I could see perfectly. <sighs> Where the hell are you? I heard a sound all of a sudden. I bet it was you. Don't know why, but I was sure. Between relieved and nervous, I approached. Oh, there you are! Scare me like that again and I'll kick your butt! Among all the possibilities that crossed my mind at that second, finding you like that wasn't one, I'm certain. The moonlight illuminated the lake, and on its shore, you. Naked. Taking a bath. Um... Coco? for you, you idiot! I woke up and saw you weren't there! All right, you found me! Now please go back to sleep! <sighs> I found myself incapable of looking away from you, not understanding why. Maybe because this was like those old tales in which a knight finds a nymph or something in this very same situation, and he ends up mesmerized by her- I know I asked you to keep an eye on me, but not like this! Not when I'm naked! Uh, how was I supposed to know you felt like going for a midnight swim? seen before I... I'm going back to camp and I wasn't looking I ran back to our camp and sat by the fire until you came and went to sleep without a word I guess you didn't even want to look me in the eye after the shame I put you through but I was surprised by how quickly you were able to catch some sleep. And I was still unable to stop looking at you. Look at her, sleeping like a log. And to think she was such a mess just a moment ago. Maybe I should take a relaxing bath as well. Seems to have worked for her. Curled up next to the bonfire, you were sleeping soundly, as if nothing had happened. Or maybe it was that nothing had happened. It was just an embarrassing situation, nothing more. 
However, I was still restless, unable to remove that beautiful image from my head. Why did seeing you naked cause that effect on me? Why was I still so nervous? Can't sleep a wink. What's wrong with me? Ah. You moved a little in your dreams, and your blanket shifted away. I was, again, looking at your body from top to bottom. Then I noticed something that you were hiding under your clothes. I couldn't believe that. What the... What's this? My eyes didn't trick me. It was the relic. You had it on you. Who would have thought? Carrying something so valuable would only make you a target for bandits. Is that what you wanted to pay me with? Weren't you supposed to give me something even better? So I never lie, huh? Bullshit. I reached out. I had the relic at my fingertips. I could take it and go. leave you to your fate. All my problems would disappear and I could pay off my debt and leave in peace. All I'd have to do is pick up that damn relic and get the hell out. So simple. You wouldn't even know until you woke up, and I'd be far, far away. That'd serve you right for trusting someone like me to babysit you. It'd all be over in a moment. This ridiculous journey. <laughs> ah, I'm too tired to start running now. I should try to get some rest. Better cover you up, too, while we're at it. Good night, Coco. Maybe sometimes life can be like those night tales.